I just received the new P2S from Bamboo Lab, including the AMS2. And I'm currently working on the full review, which will be released in the next few days. In this video, I will show you the setup process and the first few prints. So the P2S arrived three days after I ordered it directly from Bamboo Lab. Everything was very well packed and while you can watch me setting it up, I will tell you a bit why I decided to buy this printer. I've wanted a fully enclosed printer for a long time, so I could print the more finicky filaments which like it warmer and tend to warp, and which have only caused problems on my open Neptune 4 printer. Due to budget constraints, for me it was a question of choosing between the Centauri Carbon and the P1S. Both great printers at a reasonable price. And both with their pros and cons. The Centauri Carbon offers a bit higher specs, while the P1S is known for being a very reliable machine. And both offer very good value for money. The Elegoo printer a bit cheaper and the Bamboo printer probably more trustworthy. Bamboo Lab then presented their new printers with the H2D and the H2S. They would also have active chamber heating, making them even more versatile than an enclosed printer, but far too expensive for my budget. Elegoo now announced that they launch a new multicolor printer, but doubts were expressed as to whether a functioning AMS would ever be available for retrofitting the Centauri Carbon, which was the reason I decided not to buy a Centauri after all. And then the new P2S was released, with hardened steel nozzle and extruder gears and many other new features that I will show you in more detail in the upcoming review. In any case, everything seems to fit here and the price is also quite acceptable. As you can see, I now have finished assembling it and there is no Ethernet connection, so you have to use Wi-Fi. Now it does all the calibration itself with just a few clicks on the display. And as soon as it starts, the last bit of foam under the heat bed can be removed. Along with this part here that I somehow missed. At first it does a normal bed leveling, then a lengthy calibration for motor noise cancellation, followed by vibration compensation and then bed leveling again, but this time with a heated bed. This took about 30 minutes, after which I can load the first roll of filament into the AMS. And then it's benchy time! This took 24 minutes and looks really good. Here I'm holding it next to the Benchy I printed with the Neptune 4 Pro back then. The one from the P2S looks a little better. And yes, I'm putting the two together to make it into a yin yang Benchy. Cool, that worked. Now let's take a quick look at the accessories that come with the printer. We have two high quality Allen keys, a silicon sock for the nozzle, an additional nozzle wiper, two tubes of grease, a filament cutter in this package and a blade in the other one to build a scraper, which also requires these two screws and there is a declogging needle. I also bought an additional 0.6mm nozzle because I like to print large things fast. Then there is this well-structured quick start guide, I would say if I had looked at it, and some more paperwork that I also did not read. Plus a piece of PTFE tube that I almost overlooked in the box. And stickers. Now let's print the matching scraper for this blade. This took a bit over one hour, so I went to the living room and watched the entire print on the screen. Yes, it was very exciting. So, the layers look very evenly extruded and stacked. Inserting the two included screws, and voila! If you are interested in the P2S, you are very welcome to subscribe to my channel and will not miss my full review, where I test one of the first retail units with different materials and, in addition to great prints, also had to fix some problems that I hadn't heard about in other reviews. And I will also make a printable upgrades video for this printer. Some of it has already been printed, but I still have to film and edit everything, which takes a lot of time. That is why I am very grateful for any support and I'd like to say a special thank you for my first Patreon. So then keep on making great prints and we see us in the next one. Which could be this one here. And that's also a great one. Bye bye.